hello everyone welcome to farm hotspot in this video uh, we discuss about general principles of chemotherapy so basically in today's video we first discuss some introduction that what is chemotherapy and after that some important terms that is very helpful in your exams and after that we discuss about nine general principles of chemotherapy so that's all we discuss today in our lecture so let's begin the video so guys we first start the lecture with the definition so what is chemotherapy so chemotherapy may be defined as drug treatment that uses powerful chemical to kill fast growing cells in body so in chemotherapy we use the very heavy chemicals very very heavy drugs high doses to kill fast growing cells in body whether it's cancerous cell or any other cell any cell which growing too rapidly in our body get killed by these chemicals uh, it cause many painful side effects like burning effect numbness so numbness is the symptom in which the patient feel like someone is pinch on their leg or arms okay uh, or any other parts of the body and uh, you feel like uh, someone pinch you needle okay so this all gonna happen in numbness and you also observe mouth sores which is called ulcer and severe headache and muscle pain so these are the common symptoms which are commonly see in the cancerous patient like in many movies you see that the cancerous patient uh, uh, have no hairs on his head and uh, their skin is also uh, palish yellow in color so this all because of the treatment which is chemotherapy uh, we do to treat cancer so this is due to chemotherapy side effects cancer cell have following properties like uncontrolled proliferation so proliferation is like uh, growing of cell unstoppable uncontrollable so in this we have growth factor and also the cell have escape apoptosis and cell have angiogenesis so the these are the properties of cancerous cell so cancerous cell have growth factor they have escape apoptosis and they have angiogenesis so to know that in the better way we first discuss ki what is apoptosis and what is angiogenesis which may also helpful in your exams So guys apoptosis is a programmed cell death which include several molecular steps in cell uh, several molecule steps like uh, first uh, the cell wall gets ruptured after that protein unwinding is there so every cell have different uh, mechanism of cell death okay lead to cell death our body used in mechanism to get rid of unneeded or abnormal cell so suppose uh, uh, if we do gymming for the long period of time in a day then what happen our muscle get ruptured so this is all because of uh, we push the muscles to expand from their normal range so if we push our muscles or any cell uh, it simply get ruptured but in cancer cell uh, the apoptosis is blocked means the cell differentiate or grow get larger in size day by day without cell death so this is the quality that have cancer cell after that we see that uh, there is angiogenesis so angiogenesis is simply the formation of new blood vessel so tumor need nutrition and oxygen to grow so the 
blood vessel provides the nutrition and oxygen to the tumor to grow so these angiogenesis is also the property of cancer cell after that we have metastasis invasiveness and differentiation let's see what is metastasis so metastasis it's the ability of cancer cell to penetrate into lymphatic and blood vessel so first uh, the cancer cell go in the blood and lymphatic system which is circulatory system of our body and uh, as you know that from the circulatory system it reach to every part of the body like in our hand in our legs in our head or uh, any part of the body uh, the cancer cell can reach and uh, after reaching there they innovate to normal tissue so simply they expand their range and uh, simply just grow there and uh, make our body infectious after that we have invasiveness so invasiveness of cell to become motile so invasiveness is also mean that cell become motile means it can move from one place to another with the help of fluids uh, okay over any kind of a medium it can move from one place to another they navigate through extracellular matrix within a tissue and infect neighboring cell or any cell which are in contact with cancer cell so any cell which are in contact with cancer cell get infected so this process is called invasiveness but in metastasis we see that first cell is penetrate into the circulatory system and then they infect the normal cell okay guys and the last characteristic of a cancerous cell is differentiation as you see in the diagram there is one cell and after that it divide into two and the two is divided into four and the four is divided into eight so this is the process by which the cancer cell divide themselves in the very large amount okay so we read some introduction the first principle is the purpose is curative and palliative curative mean to cure something to heal something okay uh, so our purpose is uh, to, to treat the cancer and uh, heal the patient and sometimes we don't completely kill all the all the cancerous cell so what we can do is we can palliate the patient means provide them comfortable life so that patient should live the life stress free okay so the second principle is most current anti cancer drugs particularly cytotoxic agents affects only one characteristic aspect of cancer cell biology so what this line mean is uh, in the current situation we see that cytotoxic drugs which are the anti cancer drugs are only act only one side of the cell that is cell division it means that only cell division is blocked no other step is blocked like study about metastasis we study about the invasiveness so these drugs are not act on these characteristics which is a very a negative point okay so we can write this point in that way but uh, have no specific inhibitory effect on invasiveness the loss of differentiation or tendency to metastasis which likely to produce several toxic effect bone marrow toxicity loss of hair 
teratogenicity teratogenicity is the uh, malformation in the embryo or fetus and uh, carcinogenicity because many cytotoxic drugs are mutagens which mutate our chromosomes after that guys chemotherapy must kill all cancer cell because if the chemotherapy don't able to kill all the cell then uh, the chemotherapy is not beneficial for us because if the single cell is remaining then you know the single cell is divided into thousands of cell rapidly after that chemotherapy must follow first order kinetic so what's the mean of first order kinetic here is they only kill some cells in one treatment okay so if you have one session of chemotherapy only some cells are killed but in another session the remaining one killed a combinational treatment approach like we combine surgery with radiation therapy is there um, as we generally see that uh, first uh, the doctors prefer to do radiation and after that uh, we made a surgery maximum tolerated dose principle in which we give large dose first time to kill large amount of cancer cell so suppose uh, if the patient is uh, capable of uh, getting high dose of drug then we give uh, the patient the highest possible dose because uh, if we give the small amount of dose then uh, the body get resist to it and uh, body develop a defense system against it like uh, we seen uh, the doctor prefer that uh, for the children the antibiotics are given in the low doses why because when the children become adult or grow the uh, the body needs more doses okay because the toleration level of the body get increased so for the children there is different doses formulation and for the adult there is different formulation so you have to remember that that in the first time we give large amount of drug large amount of dose to kill the large number of cancer cell okay the seventh step is combinational of 2,5 chemotherapeutic agent in the termitant pulses terminant pulses means here is at short interval so we generally take two to four different agent and give them to patient in a very short period of time so our eighth point is cell developing resistance to chemotherapy like due to mutation or by giving low doses so the effectiveness get reduced so this is the same point as the six point said is that if we give the low dose amount of drug then body get resist to it or the tolerance level get increased so we have to give the high dose of drug chemotherapy may be cell cycle not specific like cisplatin and nitrogen mustard so cisplatin and nitrogen mustard are the classification of uh, anti cancer drug and uh, or cell cycle specific so chemotherapy uh, either cell this is a cell cycle which is shown in the diagram in which we have g s g2 phase g1 phase m phase so this is the whole cell cycle so there are two type of drug either they are depend on this cycle or they do not depend on this cycle the drugs which do not depend on this cycle is cisplatin drugs and nitrogen busted drugs so the drugs which are coming in these categories are not cell cycle specific rest of them are cell cycle specific so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video and uh, learn something new and if you really like something new then press the like button and if you are new here 
join us by subscribing the channel thank you guys for watching this video